Hello everybody. Well, uh, we are rebuilding this cylinder out of the Bobcat 873, leaking like a sieve. And of course I need a spanner wrench and I don't have one, especially that I can hammer on. So what I wanted to do is make one. I'm going to take a piece of this and a piece of this and a couple of these and see if I can't make uh, an adjustable spanner wrench that I can use on this one and the five other cylinders that we have to rebuild. I'll bring you back. All right, so here's where I'm at so far. Got a couple of pieces here. This is three quarter inch square bar, five sixteenths bolt. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to weld this side up this side will pivot on here and then if I get some time I want to shave this down so it will fit right inside this big pipe so that's the goal uh, I've been at this about an hour now so let's see Okay, so I pretty much jumped ahead and finished it. So I'll just uh, detail a little bit. A two, four, or a three quarter inch square rods. They're 14 inches long. Three eighths of an inch plate. Three eighths of an inch plate. This is seven inches here. This is an inch and a half, okay? And that will fit into right into there, nice, okay? But nice do-it-yourself project here. Uh, quarter inch grade eight bolts welded in there cut off 5 16 bolts in there uh, so yeah it went pretty good now I gotta I gotta test it out on there but not gonna be this video because I got nothing to hold that with I'm gonna have to figure that out and then crank on this thing so anyway good little uh do-it-yourself project. I I must have made half a dozen junk spanner wrenches in my uh, lifetime, and I think I got one that'll last and uh, do everything I needed to do. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.